Welcome to Excel hack number eight. During this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can take a simple chart that's plotting out some values, whatever it is, and add a horizontal average line to that chart. Let's take a look. Here I've got some simple data, a column with sales individuals and a column with a week one data. Now I'm going to turn this into a chart. With this data selected, a1 down to B6, I'll go up to insert, and I'm going to grab just a standard clustered column charts. All right, there we have it. And I'm going to shrink it down just to make this a little more visual, uh, visible on our screen here. There we go. Let's shrink it down just a little bit more. All right. Now what I'd like to do is I want to get an average line, right? Get that horizontal line to go across my chart here to display the average for all of these sales individuals. Or maybe I want to change this. I want it to do it by week, right? Now nah, we've only got one week, so let's just do it by salespeople here. So I'm going to add an additional column. Let's call this average. And now all I'm going to do is use the average function on all of these cells here. And I'm going to make this an absolute because I'm about to copy this. So let's highlight that. And I'm going to hit the F4 key on my keyboard. Let's turn those into an absolute. We can consider that a hack right there, right? All right. And I'm going to copy that down using the autofill. So $4,046 is my average for week one for these salespeople. But now I need to include this into the chart. Well, I'm going to select the chart. And I'm going to expand. I'm just going to grab this little blue box here. I'm going to expand that over to my average. And now I've included the average into my chart. Okay, but right now it's a separate column. I just want to get this horizontal line. Well, take a look. All I'm going to do is change the type of chart that is plotting the average values. So I'm going to select one of these orange bars, just one of them. You'll notice that all the data points within the series are now selected. With that selected, I'm going to go up to my design tab, top of the screen, and let's see, on the far, towards the far right, I've got change chart type. Now remember, I've, I've just got a series selected here, my average series. So change chart type. Now in 2013, I now have a combo selected. If you're in 2010 or 2007, it's going to be a little bit different. You won't have combo. But you'll just go grab a line chart from your list here. There's a line right there. Here, 2013, 2016, I go to combo. I see my week one and average. I'm going to change average from cluster column. And I'm going to change that to a line. Just a simple plain line chart. With that selected, I'll hit OK. And now I've got my average plotted out as a horizontal line within my chart. Now, I see some people that will draw that manually. They'll go to their Insert tab. They'll go to, to, to the Shapes and grab a line and draw the line. Well, here, it's based on data in your data set. So if this gets updated, let's change one of these to like 10,000 just to make it big. Hit my Enter key, and it is now updated. I don't have to redraw the line. It's based on the values from this data source. So really simply, adding a simple horizontal line, in this case, to represent the average. Try this out.